And our second main topic, we're actually going to continue discussing TikTok. But something else on TikTok, because here's the thing. TikTok, because it's now kind of the poster child for being an unsafe app and everything, is getting a lot of flack from people. And as a result, American companies like Twitter and particularly Facebook are now, you know, kind of shooting snide little comments on it. I mean, and these are not severe things. They're they're like third grade level things. It's kind of like, like a good example of this would be like back in the console wars in 92 when it was Sega Genesis versus Super Nintendo. And and Super Nintendo se- says you can only play this on Super Nintendo. And then Sega would come back and say, well, Sega does what Nintendo don't. You know, you know what I'm saying? So anyway... It's, it's Facebook did stuff like that, but of course, because TikTok is a Chinese-owned company, the the owners have no sense of humor about this, and so you have this headlines like this where TikTok parent company ByteDance accuses Facebook of plagiarism and smear as it goes on the f- front foot. And by the way, when you see TikTok freaking out about what we're going to discuss, you can tell they're nervous. So here's the thing. ByteDance, the Chinese company that owns TikTok, accused Facebook of plagiarism and smear as it looks to go on the front foot following continued pressure of its business in the U.S. Late Sunday, the Beijing-based firm said it had that it is, quote, committed to becoming a global company, but it has faced all kinds of complex and unimaginable difficulties, according to the CNBC translation of the Chinese statement. These include a, quote, intense international political environment, the collision and the collision and conflict of different cultures, and the plagiarism and smear of of competitor Facebook. ByteDance did not elaborate on the statement, but said it was mainly aimed at its domestic Chinese audience. So basically it was propaganda. Facebook was not immediately available for comment. Now, what, what what is it that they actually complained about? Well... May, well, the comments came after Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg touted the social network as being a proudly American com- company in prepared remarks ahead of his testimony before the House Judiciary Subcommittee on Antitrust last Wednesday. So what Mark Zuckerberg did when he was being grilled by Congress about antitrust, he opened by saying that Facebook was a proud American company, clearly showing shade at TikTok. Here's the other thing, though. Okay, so maybe that's the uh, the smear part, but what about the plagiarism part? Well, Facebook is apparently, apparently, working on a TikTok-like service called Lasso and Instagram Reels. And Lasso and Instagram Reels would be very much like TikTok short videos, you maybe put some music to it, and you share on Facebook and Instagram. And of course, since those are established, you know, that means like they could bring some of those younger people back because a lot of younger people still have those Facebook and Instagram accounts even if they don't use them. So hey, if they can do TikTok on those platforms too, why not? Now, is that plagiarism? That's very, very hard to prove. I mean, it's a video There are video services like, is Facebook Watch plagiarizing YouTube or Netflix? Is Peacock, which we're going to be discussing next, is that a ripoff of HBO Max and Disney Plus? I mean, there's certain things that it's like, you just can't really copyright or patent these things. So, what's really going on is TikTok is scared. They're scared because they have been hit with a lot of bad publicity, and now Facebook is looking to their cheddar and saying, we can do that too, and they are going to do it. Like, that was one of the reasons Netflix pivoted to original content, because, yeah, they were the kings. They had the playground of the streaming world all to themselves, but Rex Reed was quoted as saying, when he looked at the other companies, the Disney's, the Warner's, the Paramount's, the NBC Universal's, he said, 
we need to become them before they become us. And that's one of the problems with these little video platforms. They're easily imitated and they're imitated often. Heck, TikTok isn't even an original product. It borrows heavily from the defunct social media network Vine, which is no longer there. So this is a bunch of posturing and we'll see what happens if TikTok is bought by Microsoft. You know, in hindsight, if Google still had Google um, Plus, I think that's what it was, maybe TikTok would have made more sense for them to buy because, you know, integration with the social media network. But I even forgot if that was uh, if that was called Google Plus. Anyway, I'd like to know what you think of this. Do you think TikTok has a legitimate gripe or do you think they're they're just being sore babies or whatever? I'd love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly.